Welcome to a demonstration of the uh, envelope generator from the Buchla Music Easel that I've created. Unlike several of the other adaptations I've created lately, this one actually just worked <laughs> without having to do any strange jumpers or add missing parts and things like that. So I'm really happy about that. Um, you'll see on the right there's three CMOS chips. Um, the other long chip right there is a LM3900 Norton op amp and the rest of these are just standard op amps. And to do this demonstration we need something to control with the envelope generator. So its control voltage is going to the tamper generator circuit that you can see in another video. We also need something to create the pulses to activate the envelope generator. And for that we're using the pulser circuit that I can also see in another, you can also see in another video. So. Right now I've got the attack, the duration, and the sustain offset controls all turned down. So let me uh, crank the volume here a bit. And what I'm going to do is start by slowly increasing the attack. There you can hear. So let me turn the tack back down. Now let's play with the decay. Let me find the decay offset button. Um, let's see, that control is up here. No, um, where's that control? That control is... Okay, I really need to make a control panel for this thing. Here we go, I think this is the decay. No. Yes, this is the decay. And there's also duration, which obviously takes place between the the attack and the decay, both of which I have short, so let me increase the duration. So that's the duration. Uh, let me put in a little bit of, turn down the duration and put in a little bit of attack. And also a little bit of decay. So let's see, this one's the decay. Let me now put in a little bit of this um, duration. And there, I've gotten the envelope long enough that it's kicking in. It's restarting while it's still running. So let me turn that all back down a bit. So it's pretty standard envelope generator in terms of that functionality. It's just a little bit more limited than the usual attack, decay, sustain, release. Oh wait, that's not the one I want. This is the one I want. Oh wait, no. Let me turn it the other. Okay, now we have it sort of back to the original off settings. What makes this particular envelope generator interesting is the fact that I can actually um, drive it using an external control voltage of some kind. So let me take a sine wave from over here. We've got a uh, let's see what's this? This is an MOTM 390. And I'm going to take that and drive it into the attack input and play around with that for a little bit. So over here is the attack control input. And let me turn in up the attack CV. See, that's not doing quite what I'm expecting. There.
There we go. So, he, okay, I'm sorry, I had the uh, CV trimmer, uh, the trimmer turned down. Um, so, you should hear some variation in the attack. There's a long one, there's a short one. There's a longer one. Actually, let me put in some offset. So you'll hear some variation there. Okay, so let's, so that's demonstrating that we can do control voltage attacks. Let's try doing some control voltage duration. So let me put this now in the duration input. And let's see, that's the offset, so the duration CV tremors here. Let me actually put in a little bit of duration. kind of hard to hear the effect. Sorry, there's a phone call there. So let's... Ah, uh, there you can hear some duration. So I'm running it with an LFO, so it sort of depends on where the LFO is hitting at that point. There you go. So there's a long one, there's a short one. So let's unplug that, and the final thing to demonstrate of voltage controllability... I know this isn't exciting as some of the other modules, is the decay. So let me find the decay CV trimmer. Let's see. Then let's also put in a little bit of offset. Now hopefully we'll hear some. There we go. There's a long one. There's a shorter one. Quick one. There's a long one. So it just depends on where the LFO is hitting it in its cycle. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the envelope generator. Let me go over here and uh, turn this down before we go crazy. Uh, point out a couple other things. There's a uh, connection here. Wow. Okay. Sorry. Uh, there's a connection here called LED on the um, schematic that's actually labeled lamp and that goes to a um, uh, what looks to be drawn like a light bulb, not a standard diode symbol. That then in, on the easel schematic is connected to 12 volt supply. So uh, an intrepid person should be able to get something to light up, hopefully. I haven't tested that and it's a low priority for me. There's also a couple different modes. I've got it permanently wired right now and you can switch between transient and sustain modes and here I've got I've been testing the transient mode I haven't tried the sustain mode but I'm, I'm deeming this close enough for my own purposes and um, let's see that's it for the envelope generator